it's Keely from Soy and Shay and thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be making a loaf of soap using French lavender fragrance oil from Aroma. I'm going to be making a solid base of purple and then on top of that pouring some white that's been marbled with that same purple colour. To create my purple I am using um, Eminence and Blueberry Delight Mica from My Micro Obsession and I've mixed this colour up myself. I usually associate lavenders with a slight um, tint of blue in them and I'll also be using some water dispersible titanium dioxide. On top of my soap I'm going to be sprinkling some lavender buds and my parents recently went to South Australia and my dad bought me this packet of lavender back from the Lindock Lavender Farm so I wanted to use some of these on top of the soap and I also have other ideas for this um, lavender buds as well so I will hopefully do a video on that soon. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started. In this bucket I have my oils which is olive oil, coconut oil, shea butter and castor oil and I have my lye water which has some tassa silk in it and I've used soap calc to calculate how much lye I need for my oils. So we're going to start by pouring our lye water into our oils, blending it up and then I'm going to split it out for the colour. So I mix it up a little bit more than I probably would normally and that's because the lavender oil tends to slow down the trace on this one. So I'm just going to scrape all this out and then I'm going to pour a layer of this into my mould and then I'm going to do the next part. Add some of my water dispersible titanium oxide and the rest of the fragrance and then the purple that was left over from that base pour I'm going to drop swirl into the bucket. Just to loosen this up a little bit I'm just going to tip in some of my white because it is a little bit looser than the purple and it will also just give me a slightly different colour to what's in the mould already. So just mix those together and then I'm going to add that into my white. set up quite nicely in there so what I'm now going to use is use my spatula just to break the, the pour a little bit just in case it hasn't all set up and I'm going to pour this section on the top and I have actually made this batch of soap just that little bit bigger than the mold like I do with my Cleveland honey bar so I can get a really nice high top without doing any piping And we're just going to pour all of this into the mould.
like it has been scraped out nice and clean and now I'm just going to make some little mounds into the middle of my loaf of soap here and I'm going to sprinkle the lavender straight down the middle. Now I'm using a stainless steel, sorry, stainless steel spoon to do this so that I don't get any um, reaction with the soap and the metal. grab some of these lavender buds they smell uh, just like the lavender that my parents used to grow in the front of their garden like real lavender I've had lavender from some of the supply places and it just smells fusty and this just smells like nice fresh lavender straight off the farm that's been dried and then packaged up without being stored for too long so Hopefully it doesn't go brown from what I've been reading. I'm adding it at just the right point that it shouldn't um, react with the lye and the soap um, too much. So fingers crossed. I'm just going to give this a quick knock down to make sure that that lavender sticks into the wet soap. Okay, so there we have it. There is my French lavender soap. I'm going to leave it in here for 24 hours to set. Um, I'm not going to do anything for insulation, I'm just going to leave it as is, maybe with a bit of greaseproof paper over the top of the uh, mould, but I don't find I need to force gel my soaps, the recipe does that all by itself. So we'll come and have a look at this um, tomorrow. Hi everyone, we're back to cut the French lavender soap, so we're going to pop this on. I'm going to lay it down on my cutter sideways, just so I don't go dragging that lavender through the soap. It smells beautiful, just as lavender should do. So we'll cut this one through and see what we've got on the inside. You know, I did leave this for a little bit longer than the 24 hours I usually do. It wasn't quite firmed up when I unmolded it so I've left it for about another 12 hours so it's a little bit harder to cut than usual but we're draining through it oh I see I have a few glycerin rivers but that's okay I think it does add to the whole look but that is our French lavender soap so that will head off onto the curing rack for about four to six weeks and then it will be available at the Cleveland markets and on the website so there we have it I hope you've enjoyed the making of the French lavender soap if you did please leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below and if you want to you can also subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell sign and then it will let you know when I upload the next soap making video so thanks for watching bye